Color replacement in Photoshop can be really easy or it can be kind of difficult. We're going to take a look at both ways. First, the easy way, and that is replacing a color with the color replacement tool. You go to the brush and just hold down and click and choose color replacement tool. You can use hue, saturation, color, or luminosity to go ahead and replace the tool, and you can choose to find the edges or not, so it will keep you from overcoloring. Um, I've set the tolerance to about 30 and I'm upping the brush size just so we can get the basic color painted in faster. Um, and I'm going to have that around 45. Now we're going to change the color of this yellow flower to let's say a pinkish orange. And so I'm just going to use the color replacement tool to paint that color on. Now I'm using hue at the moment. Sometimes you can get a different and more vibrant effect by using color instead of hue. In this case it's not going to make a huge difference. Let's just take a look. Yeah, see, just about the same. So that paints the color on, but you can see those edges are still a little yellow. We can fix that either by upping the tolerance, which on a big brush like this isn't going to have much effect. So let's make the brush a little smaller so the edges are a little more lenient. There we go. Now it's starting to fill in a bit better. I'm just going to fill in the rest of these edges here, and then we will have a nice orangey-pink flower. So let's say we try to apply the same technique to this lovely lady's eyes. Well, she's got brown eyes and we want to make them blue. Let's see what happens. I'm going to change the color to blue here and paint it on. Woo, that is pretty intense. What if I change it to hue? Still kind of a little painted. I think we can do better than that. And this is going to require a little bit more work. So what we're going to do here is use the polygonal lasso to select the eyes. I'm going to give it a feather of about two pixels so we don't get really rough edges. I'm just going to go around the eye selecting the colored part. There's the left eye and now let's just quickly get the right eye. Now that we've got our rough selection, um, I'm going to go to the edit menu, choose copy, and then paste. So now we've got our colored eye parts in another layer. Now what I need to do here is first desaturate. And then I'm going to auto tone these eyes a little bit too just to brighten things up a tiny bit. Now we have gray eyes here. They already look a little blue though, right? So I'm going to command click to select that layer and we're going to make a new layer for just the color that's going to go on top. And we're going to take the paint can, select a dullish blue and fill it in. Kind of creepy, but we're going to add color. There we go. That's a little intense though, so let's dial it down. That's better. It's already looking a lot more realistic this way. But we can do better than that. So I'm going to open up curves in my adjustments and just try to brighten things up a little bit because blue eyes tend to be a bit brighter. Uh, that's too dark. Not helping. Not helping. Let's bring that back up. There we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like close up. Not too bad. From far away, you can tell it's blue, but it's not really all that evident. So I'm just going to, you know, open up curves one more time and brighten it up a bit. Now you can kind of see that uh, lovely blue color on this lovely, lovely photo.